Yo know, everybody, this is the Game Master 127. Welcome to a random Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile, and I'm going to be doing my spellcasters and slash like Dark Magician deck or whatever. And so with that, let's get started. The first one that I have in here is Dark Magician. Absolute classic. Uh, one of the toughest monsters I have in this deck. Next one I have is Chaos Sorcerer. With Chaos Sorcerer, uh, he can banish, and uh, all I have to do is just remove a uh, light and dark monster, so he's really easy to get out. Next up, if I have those two on the field, I can summon out the King of them all, and that's the Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Uh, he's basically just immune to every like spell and everything, and he can uh, destroy uh, trap cards and destroy them, so he's good. To get uh, Dark Magician out a little bit easier, I use double cast on which uh, allows me to sacrifice him to get two and then you start getting some like random cards like junk giant which is just a high level monster healing wave generator which is a good to get life points back ult addictive magician destroys something Santa Claus you know it just uh, gets rid of one of their monsters uh, Star Sarah Scale, which is just an iffy, can't really use it. Absolute King Backjack. Uh, gosh dang it. Absolute King Backjack. And I just get to see the top of my field. Royal Magical Library. It's a spellcaster. Uh, an artifact. Trap Master for traps. Karibo, because why not? Another uh, good card that I have in here is Black Luster Soldier, the ritual one. Then you got Honest to help you with the artifacts. Artifact Scythe. Marauding Captain to get some more monsters out. Manning your bug to destroy stuff. Gigabyte because it's for spellcasters. Another artifact. Artifact Fall Knight. Necro Gardener. Probably the easiest summoning boss of them all, and that's the Time Lord. Is it, uh, good, good, that's a good card. Uh, Metathon. Another Star Seraph, it's uh, for Sovereignty. Uh, Artifact Labrys. Shogun Knight. Star Seraph Sage. It's just to get these guys out a lot faster, and uh, he's one of the good ones to start it off with. Breaker to destroy a Speller Tramp. Star Surf Sword. Apprentice Magician. Blizzard Warrior for level 3s. Bond Backs and Veil, because why not? Magical Undertaker, it's another Spellcaster. Tricky's a Spellcaster. Spell Striker, because he's easy to get out. And Card Trooper, because I get to draw a card. Moving on to spells, you get Dawn Thousand's Throne, just gives me life points. Wonder Wand because it's gets some draw power. Magical Forum because you have a uh, Dark Magician. Enemy Controller to take over your monsters. Source Revealing Light. Dark Hole. Nightmare Steel Cage. Axe of Despair. Flew to summoning Kareo, because of course. Black Cluster Ritual. Moving on to traps, we have Trap Hole. Four Seas Fire to negate all traps. Magical Arm Shield. Mischief of the Nose. Mischief of the Nose. Gnomes. Gnomes, Gnomes, Gnomes. It is a fun card to play. It gets to reduce it for two turns, so it really messes up somebody when they're XC summoning. Call the Haunted, Staple. Double Pass A, because it's just something like if you, like, if you can make them attack you directly, and then you can use this to make them target, uh, so you can attack them directly. Gosh, what am I saying? Try and guess, it's an easy 3,000 life points. And Solemn Warning, because that's one way you can use your Try and Guess on. Finally, moving on to the extra deck, we have the best one of all, and that's Doward Magician. Oh, Doward Magician. Uh, it's just an easy one to get out, and it uh, 
get some high uh, uh, attack points. Number C65, High Manipulator of Chaos. Just because I have Down Thousand Throne. The original number 43, Manipulator of Chaos. And the only reason why I pick these guys is because they're the easiest level 3s and 2s to get on. Number 48, Shadow Lich. It's definitely a good one uh, because he can keep making tokens, which makes him immune. Getting impossible 28 for a level 3, that's not that bad. Ghost Trick, Angel of Mischief. If I had more Ghost Trick cards, it'd be a really fun card because of its special labor, which allows me to win the duel. But I don't. The original Ghost Trick, Scooter Boss, which allows me then to overlay to get her. But that's fine. And finally, Ground Source. Because it's just another level 3. Okay, well, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see another random deck uh, profile, that's fine. I got plenty more where that came from. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Again, I'm game with whatever you guys want me to do. And so thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.